Hey superstars, it's your best friend Scott and this is our October recap video and this is the intro to that video where I always tell you how busy I am, blah 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 blah, you know the drill. Um, so we've got a couple of VRs, our shareholders meeting, uh, some gifts and a little pickup, so let's do it. I'm not really entering this VR, but my man Brian over at Hodges1455 is celebrating 300 well-earned subs, and he wants to see three cards of players who, you know, weren't big-name superstars or would never make it into the Hall of Fame. But we love them anyway. So I'll go with some pre-war guys. Hal Trotsky, he was a great power-hitting first baseman, totally overlooked because of guys like Hank Greenberg and uh, Lou Gehrig and Jimmy Fox. Here's uh, rollicking Raleigh Hemsley, well-known screw-up and alcoholic who caught Bob Feller's opening day no-hitter. After that game, reporters noticed he wasn't celebrating, and that's when he admitted that he had joined AA, um, which wasn't really well-known at the time, so it brought a lot of attention to that program. And how about Bill Wamsgans, whose claim to fame was turning an unassisted triple play in the 1920 World Series? Easy peasy. And uh, here you thought I was going to go with Al and Alvaro and uh, Don, didn't you? So I'm not entering this one because he's giving away an Etsy gift card to spend in my shop. And uh, I don't want that junk. Now, I, I really appreciate Brian doing that. It's really cool. And I'm so honored. So thank you, Brian. My best friend, Tony Black, he's celebrating five years on YouTube, which is awesome. Congrats, Tony. And he wants to hear about the first baseball game that we ever went to or any other sporting event, I guess. Um, so the year is 1988. I am rocking my short shorts and my striped crew socks and my I'm a pepper t-shirt. Um, and I'm just beginning my obsession with baseball. Uh, Grandma had bought me my Panini sticker album and I'm begging for stickers and uh, those cello baseball card packs every time I get dragged to the grocery store. My buddy, I think his name was Steve because, well, all my friends were named Steve for some reason. Uh, he was bragging about how he was gonna go to an Indians game at Municipal Stadium. So of course I start hounding my parents to take me to that same game. And I remember thinking that they need to ask the ticket salesperson to sit as close to Steve not realizing that um, the ticket salesperson would have no, no clue where Steve was sitting. Um, I was pretty dumb back then. I probably still am, but dang it, I was so excited. I also remember rocking out to a lot of 50s music because 50s music was really popular in the 80s. At least I think it was, unless I was just kind of a dork that really liked 50s music. Um, so we were in the upper deck. I yelled and I screamed so much so that I lost my voice and I just had the greatest time. Maybe the people around me didn't, but... Uh, uh, the place was so cavernous and so huge and just so stinking cool. Um, other than that, I really don't remember that much about the game itself. My brain's just not really wired that way. Um, but uh, yeah, that was my first MLB game, Tony. Not a ton to go over right now. Um, I've been putting my head down and really plugging away on commissions and uh, projects that I want to get done before the holidays. And I've been doing a lot of design work for my LCS Triple Play Vintage. And uh, hopefully I'll have some new stuff to show you really soon. Um, if I'm being honest, I have been feeling a little overwhelmed lately, but uh, I am getting through it. Um, I took my son to see the Pharrell documentary that was done as a Lego movie. It's called Piece by Piece. Really neat movie. Um, anyway, Pharrell talked about how he succeeded because he is surrounded by people that want him to win. And, you know, that's exactly how I feel. That's how you guys make me feel. And um, you're, you're getting me through any growing pains that I might be having. And I, I really appreciate all of you. It means a lot. And I thank you. Um, other than that, Eddie asked me to do this Mariner shirt, which uh, I thought was really cool. And Ken asked me to do this Rocky shirt. Uh, so those are available right now. Um, so that's kind of it for now. Maybe someday I'll get my own Lego documentary. Tony Black, who I just did a VR for, already sent me my prize. Not really. Uh, this says People Magazine's Sexiest Man Alive. Here are some pro debut cards from this year and a few from a couple years ago. I hope Mrs. Reindeer knows the honor People Magazine bestowed upon you in 2024. Oh, I remind her every day. Uh, your 1057th BFF, Tony. I checked my notes, Tony, and you have moved all the way up to 894. So let's see what kind of BFF bribe you sent me this time. Here's uh, Parker Messick, Ralphie Valasquez. <laughs> Weldon Francisca. Francisco, that's fun to say. Chase DeLotter, he's a good one. 
Tommy Hawk, uh, Cooper Ingle, CJ Kafis. I, I like watching this kid a lot. Uh, next bag, we got Big Christmas. Heck yeah. <laughs> Uh, Angel Martinez. Every time a bell rings, an angel gets his wings. Brian Rocchio and Angel Gineo, I think. Awesome, Tony. Thank you. You know I go to a ton of minor league games, so these are great. One of my all-time favorite channels is Tishon Shannon and his uh, baseball card theater videos. I cannot recommend them enough. Uh, but Tishon reached out and he said that he'd be in town doing some stand-up at a conference and wanted to know if I would like to come hang out with him and his brother. Heck yeah, I want to hang out. Dude is so funny and he has so many great, great stories. Just an absolute pleasure. And he gifted me uh, two of these books that he wrote. I'm halfway through Unreliable Narrator and he also gave me Cough It Up. Not entirely baseball related, but there are some baseball stories stories in them and they're awesome. So thank you, Tishan. Not much to speak of in the way of pickups, really. Um, I bought this little Frank Robinson record from Sammy Thunder. I really wanted to listen to it, but it's unpunched and I hate to mess it up. So uh, maybe I'll keep my eye out for another one. Man, this video was crappy. I'm sorry. Uh, I just don't have a lot to report. Thanks and congrats to Brian and Tony. And another thanks to Tony for the care package. Thanks to Tishan for hanging out with me. And thanks to Sammy for selling me the record. And as always, thank you guys for watching. Now go find a better video to watch. It really shouldn't be too hard. And uh, we'll see you real soon.